delighted with Commonwealth going to champion again? Yeah, I know, it means the world and especially to do it in front of a home crowd is just so, so special to me and it's memories that, you know, will stay with me for a lifetime. And what does it mean to you after some of the challenges that you've been through with your career in recent times? Yeah, I know, it means, it means a lot, it means that I was able to complete one and, and be able to respond and, and be competitive. You know, I, I needed to do this and I needed to get back out there. And, you know, I've put myself out there a lot this year um, in different competitions, knowing that I wasn't 100% fit, but, you know, willing to just put that work in and to see a payoff just yeah, means a lot to me. You're a bit tearful. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Just the occasion. And tell us about the competition. I mean, as it went through over the two days, what were your emotions over that 14 hour period? Yeah, steady. Everything was really steady. You know, um, with the heptathlon, you've got to be able to switch off and switch it back on. And, you know, I stayed here underneath the stadium all day today and yesterday. I didn't go back to the village and, you know, I just sort of like that peaceful, you know, calm atmosphere between events. And, um, and then you come out to the crowd, it's just like, it's a bit crazy, but yeah, it's um, like I said, it's been an incredible two, two days. With Oregon and with this, was there a target? Was there one that you thought maybe you know, this was going to be your event? Um, I always, I always aim to do well at this event. You know, obviously I wanted to do better in Oregon, and then just try and be competitive here. Um, but it's sport, you know, it's unpredictable, and I'm just happy I was able to come away with gold in one of the competitions. And you're top of the Commonwealth, but British heptathlon is looking in pretty good shape. Yeah. It? As far as the results here are concerned. Yeah, 100%. And, you know, we've even got some girls who are out injured um, who could, you know, also challenge too. So, um, yeah, <laughs> when I retire, you know, in a couple of years, maybe four years or two years, you know, you've got a lot of people to, to report. So. Well, well done. Thank you. Thank you. The body delivered, but how does it feel? Did it take its toll last couple of days? Um, surprisingly, no. I've, you know, I've done three heptathlons this year and I feel stronger than ever, like even today before the long jump I felt fresh and um, so yeah I, I think that you know I've put in a lot of work rehab wise so I think now it's time to make that step up and and get all the training in this winter and see where we can push it to. Obviously you've got a bit of a way to get your medal but how emotional we've seen you emotional already how emotional will it be for home games getting that moment? Yeah no it was uh, I've said it all out there you know it, it's it's so special to me for to see my mum and my auntie in the crowd and and to just deliver that performance and you know to be unsure of myself and do it as well it, it just means so much <laughs> uh, no it was just i was just celebrating a pb a personal best it's the first time i've got one in three years so it just surprised me <laughs>